y'all, Binks here. Some cards fit really directly into certain archetypes and other ones are just very, very powerful. And that's where I think the brand new card, Copycat, falls in. Copycat is a three energy, five power card that says when you draw this, steal the text from the bottom card of your opponent's deck. So when it adds into your hand, you'll see an animation. You will now know the bottom card of your opponent's deck, pretty much knowing that they won't draw it. And you'll also steal the ability. So you can get a very powerful ability towards their archetype. Uh, the deck that we chose to use it in is a deck that I've tried similar versions of before called Your Stuff Is Mine. Basically, this is a thief deck where you're trying to just take everything that our opponent is doing and do it for ourselves. So we have the very not often used Mantis uh, that can steal a card in a lane. We have Mirage, Cable, Morph to steal a card in their hand, Rogue to steal their ongoings. We have Baron Zemo to take a card from their deck, Gladiator to steal a card and then punch it in the face. Uh, we have the White Queen to steal a card from their hand, Leader to steal a card they play, and Copycat to steal their abilities. Uh, to round out the deck, we have Quinjet and Devil Dinosaur to just kind of fit the archetype of adding cards to your opponent's hand. Uh, overall thoughts on Copycat after about an hour and a half of playing it, I think it's just a very powerful card. It can fit into just about any deck. What you're going to have to see over the long term is this better than either Nocturne or Red Guardian because the three drop slot already has two cards that are just universally very powerful. And so we're just going to kind of see over time. But if you're looking for a deck that can just take your opponent's stuff and have a wonderful time, this deck is for you. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. Check down below, make sure you subscribe, and catch you live at twitch.tv slash banks underscore plays. Enjoy. You peace. Squirrel Girl Angela deck. Or a uh, Scorpion Angela deck. That is weird. That is weird. I tell you what. Maybe we can sneak an Ajax with this morph at the right time. It's really good we didn't play that right. We would have gotten fulfilled. Thank you for a reason to play the latest <laughs> Mantis variant. I mean, Mantis would not be in the deck. They're gonna, they're gonna viper that. It's kind of sick. Okay, they're gonna viper right. Let me just die now. hope this more fits something big i guess i don't know we don't really have a great thing we're going for here if i'm being honest with you would you kill off the green goblin which could help if they're just trying to tick us up a little bit but and we get rid of the monster metropolis which will probably flip off the dinosaur we're on a bit of the hope and pray vibe right now but that works sometimes is the thing we're losing four right but gaining we're losing seven, right? But gaining two. I wish. No, we lose the Titania! No, we don't! Yes! <laughs> Copycat, you've done it again, you absolute queen! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Just flip flop, everything's going all over the place. You're saying, why aren't I playing Deadpool's Donner? I don't, I, I'm not interested in it really at all. I don't think it's, I just, I don't know. I feel nothing towards Deadpool's Diner. I don't know if anyone else feels this way. I feel literally nothing towards Deadpool's Diner. It doesn't seem interesting to me. I think we'll just use the Baron Zemo left. Still gonna need to win Baxter. Maybe it wasn't as important. Actually kind of stuck in a weird spot here, unfortunately.
We also have a bit of a problem because they can probably um oh, morph. Thank you for showing up. They probably have like broods to play left. What is Dead Rolls Diner? It's just it's like Snap, but like there's a million cubes. And you just keep doubling everything. I don't know, it's very confusing. Three. I kind of feel like I should play under the assumption that they are going to win right. Or win left. I feel like they have abs, man. So maybe I can move this forge. But we have to win right. It's it's a non-negotiable. What if we did like this? Okay, we made the right call. We still lose the surfer, right? Oh, nice! Cool. Victory. Very good play there. I think they were definitely not expecting me to move the double dinosaur. I think they thought it was win Baxter or lose the game. Oh, Cable took their surfer. That's a, that's a very good point. You can tell how much I play Cable. All right, Nebula. Three power Nebula on one piece. I see what kind of game we're playing. Give me your cards. Elioth? You scoundrel. Away. Should have known that was gonna happen is the thing. I kinda wanna rip this Eliath. The genius. Oh snap. Sandy man, I see. I know you don't have access to Namora. I could if I wanted to. But fairly certain we just win with this. Let me try and think of any way that this would lose. Uh, and I cannot, so. We are the future. We are the future. There you go, leader. That is my boy. Victory. What the heck, man? You can't just move my Quinja. You did the autofill deck for copycat and it sucks. Why would you think that the... <laughs> Stop moving my Quinja! Why would you think that the autofill version, <laughs> when autofill is meant to use data from player data to build you a good deck, is going to be good one minute after the card comes out? What's what's the thought process there? Got a leech, I see. Oh, hey guys, I'm here. It's all good. Hey, everyone. It's all good, baby. Real animals here. And they say you can't beat Arishem, chat. And they say you can't beat Arishem, baby. Uh, when you draw it, it steals the bottom card of the opponent's deck. Nice. It's like a better Nocturne.
Yeah, I feel like that's what you're gonna get out of a mode like Deadpool's Diner. Like, I just think it's a terrible, I don't know. It just seems like it's such a nothing burger to me. So basically what you're gonna get, is this a Thanos deck? This is a Thanos deck, right? Are you gonna hit some copycat yet? I mean, like, they're all fine. Copycats does a lot of things in one card. It can get you a good ability. It gives you information on a card your opponent won't draw that's secret and only towards you, like you do when you play Cable, but you don't have to pay the cost of playing Cable. I think they're gonna play Coal Obsidian Middle. Wait, no, I stole their Coop City. Oh, oh, we did not play Diner. We're probably not going to play today. I don't really have any interest in it. Maybe we'll play after we get the YouTube video content done. They're going for it. Ah, not really. So they're, they're committing to Nexus. Main deck Punisher? Would be the best hits? I mean, any good effect. I mean, like, Double Dinosaur. Like, any any decent card. Like, Ant-Man would be totally fine. Pretty much any card is, like, almost always decent. Unless it's, like, a strictly negative effect. We're going to play the Morph, I think. It's going to kind of suck if um, they have Sean. But this morph just simply always wins. This time Stone doesn't have an ongoing, right? We get Blarful or Punisher, both of which are really good rogue hits. Victory. Why not Hulk? Because I believe that these would be better. And I think that we lose to Shang-Chi unless we do this. And we sometimes don't lose to Shang-Chi if we don't. Uh, Hulk might have just been a better play, for for sure, for certain. What you got in that deck, boy? What you got in that deck there? Loggers. We will lose the Wong, but that's fine. Pink hand wavings in chat if you would like. If you're so inclined to hit me with the pink hand waving there. What are they playing on four? I'm trying to decide the right turn to leader. Pink hand waving, of course. Almost went echo blind there. I'm not going to pretend like I didn't. Anything we top deck, we can play with leader, which is nice. Um, If they play Odin, we get two Odins. So they get plus six, they get to 18. We, we beat that, which is cool. Um, And this should win right if they just try and... Yolo Odin. The only thing we'll lose to if they top deck their um they top deck their beta ray bill. Uh can we mitigate that at all? No, because they can play it left. No, they can't play it left. We just have to hope they don't draw the um the thingy. Ah, 
Oh, we're gonna lose to... We're gonna lose to the thing. Uh! Fine. <laughs> Victory. Popeyes work with peas and mixed veggies? Nothing works with peas is kind of the main issue with what you just said. Breaking news. Snap. These are good. All right, bruv. Some freaking green peas with gravy, mate. Americans don't do meat pies. Uh, they're very rare. We kind of call them pot pies. <laughs> These are good at the only thing you've had is dirt. Uh, here's the thing. I will say I'm I'm being uh, I'm being jokey about it. Everyone can like whatever they like. I think it's chill. And now, do I hate peas? Absolutely. I think they're vile. But. You can like peas, man. World's your dang oyster. Uh, they're gonna play either Darkhawk or Ironheart or Iron Man this turn, guaranteed, and then we steal it with Rogue and win. Is the game plan. Can't believe they nerf Viper, so you can't send over a destroyer. So true. Here's the thing. I, I actually when I don't like things, I don't try and take the stance of you're dumb for liking them. I do try and take the stance of I wish I like them, and you are lucky to like them. Except for peas. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Okay, we're gonna have to do some quick maths here. So if they play two cards, their Thana will be at 10, they will be at 15 total power. Which means that Rogue Kitty should win here, and then this should win here. They are Iron Man, by the way. Yoink! I am Iron Man. Yeah, that, that's what I try and do. Now, but I will say, peas are the only one I do jokingly shit on because i like the peas are like probably the only food i truly find vile how gets gets nico shouldn't play spells that's very interesting don't screw me enough said bob It's literally always wins. Gritty on the grid. We lose if they can pop the Wolverine and have it go right, but I'm not playing around that. What's on Diner Event? Uh, free rewards good. Kind of a nothing burger though. All right, they're going for the one and three. Oh no, they just lost a pass, I guess. <laughs> Victory. GG's. Uh, well, I mean, a game like Snap, right? You kind of want all the stuff immediately because it's just a very 
you know, zoomer coded game in many ways. Instant gratification and all that. Uh, now, I do think their game mode sounds dumb as hell. And I said that from the very moment they introduced it. It didn't seem interesting at all. But it all, most things, most, finding enjoyment in things, most of it comes from, uh, um, or appreciating things, a lot of it comes from a mentality shift. Like, while the game mode might suck, it is free stuff. And we love free stuff here. Yes, we do, folks. Nice. 3-5 draw a card. Pretty good. Are you playing it? No, I haven't really... I'll, I'll pro I mean, I guess now that I know that you have to go all in or whatever, you should probably go all in and then figure it out later. I'll probably do that um, soon, I guess. I'll probably do that once I get my... Basically, I want to get YouTube content for about half, another half hour. Maybe get like three or four more good games. And then I'll test it out for a little bit, and then we're switching to Rivals at 5. But I have to get my editor content, and I want to get it as soon as possible, so the video can come out as soon as possible. It's a nice one to have. It'd be great on Tarnax. to steal your car it's cool and fun but it implements a stamina system which snap has avoided at this point yeah Suck we never got to use copycat. In before destroyer, by the way. Doom rules all. Spooky scary. your ass whooped oh gg's blitzkrieg peace thanks